Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Pre-Market News and Views by In The Money Stocks. Today is Tuesday, December 3rd, 2013. Thank you all for tuning in. We're going to jump right into the charts here. We're going to start off with the S&P 500 E-mini futures. You'll see that the futures are trading lower by five and a half points this morning. So this is a pretty decent decline, something we really haven't seen uh, much of lately. So the futures are trading lower to 17.94 and a quarter. Uh, decent little fall. It really comes on the back of a couple of things here. Um, first and foremost, if you take a look at the dollar yen chart, and I know a lot of you don't look at currencies, but um, when the Japanese yen starts to strengthen against the U.S. dollar, and that's what happens when this goes down, the U.S. dollar becomes weaker, Japanese yen becomes stronger, that carry trade ends. And all that money from the carry trade has been what's fueling the S&P 500. It's been also taking down gold and silver. But today, we're finally starting to see a little bit of money come out of the dollar yen. We'll see if that can last throughout the rest of the day. But um, when money comes out of this uh, vehicle right here, and you start to see the Japanese yen strengthen. Remember, the Japanese yen strengthens when the dollar yen chart goes lower. And that's what's happening today. And money is coming out of the market. Also, if you take a look at the European markets today, you're going to see that they're getting hit pretty sharply. German DAX is down about 1.1%. The French CAC 40 is down about 1.8%. Milan market, which is Italy, FTSE MIB, that is down 1.2%. And Spain is a little down over a little bit, uh, down a little over 1%. You also have the London FTSE. Remember, England can print their own money. The London FTSE is down about 7 tenths of 1%. So Europe is getting hit really across the board. The Asian markets last night fared pretty well, but you could see it here. Uh, one of the most important charts that any trader can follow. And I'm just so surprised that few retail traders do look at it each and every day. Getting back to the S&P futures, you'll see that they are still down about five and a half points. And then you have the NASDAQ futures, um, which is the NQ. They're also down about five and a half points at the, mo at the, at the, at the moment. So looking at a few other things here, um, you want to watch that dollar yen chart. You can see an early morning pop probably in the FXY. This is long Japanese yen. So this most likely is going to catch a little bit of a bid right at the opening bell um, just due to the weakness in the dollar yen. So keep that on your radar today. That could be in focus, could be in play. Um, the car companies are going to be the big spotlight today. Yesterday, you had the so-called Cyber Monday. Today, you're getting a lot of data released about November uh, auto sales. But most, uh, first and foremost, we'll go to Tesla. <clears throat> Tesla's getting a big bid today because of the fact that um, a report came back saying that those fires were not caused by the car. So the, the stock is catching a big, big bid today, trading up around the 132 level. Um, when I look at this stock right now, uh, I think it's still somewhat range bound. It's definitely catching a pretty good, a pretty good pop. But overall and all, when it's said and done, I, I do think that the stock for the most part um, will bump up against some resistance levels shortly. I'm just trying to give you my best levels at the moment. And what I'm looking at right now with, uh, I would have to say around 135, 135, 136. That's where the stock probably hit some resistance uh, intraday. So watch that level first and foremost. And then after that, it's really free reign all the way up to 146. So around 135, 136, Tesla should start to stall out a little bit. But after that, it, it does have free reign really up to the 146 level. But right now, I think... Um, Stock's probably getting a little bit overheated, at least in the intraday market. But later, it can trade to 135, 136. That would be all I would expect for today. But decent little move for Tesla on some news. Um, the other car manufacturers that are out here today, General Motors, that's holding pretty steady. We'll see how that plays out. Again, there's going to be a lot of numbers. I know numbers came out this morning from Chrysler, even though Chrysler is not publicly traded at the moment. Um, that will... Uh, that will help to move these car car stocks a little bit. So you want to watch these automakers. Ford is trading at 1703. Again, I don't see Ford getting much above 1750 today. Watch that resistance level if it does trade up there. General Motors, I really don't see this going very high. Maybe around 3975, possibly 40 bucks would be maximum. I really don't see that going much higher than that level. Um, and then you have Toyota Motor, which is very very important. Toyota. Um, has some potential upside because the stock has been beaten down. But um, 
remember, the guy, this stock can be in the doghouse a little bit today because of the the stronger uh, Japanese yen. So Toyota and all the uh, Honda and all the Japanese car manufacturers, they will be really um, they will really be tied to the currency. So again, a weaker a weaker yen benefits those companies. A stronger yen does not. So keep that on the radar going forward. Um, looking at oil and gold today, uh, if we take a look here, uh, right now you have light sweet crude trading up 11 cents to $93.92 a barrel. If we take a look at the USO, which is a good proxy for light sweet crude, you'll see it's trading at 33.68. Not really a big deal. That's exactly where it closed yesterday. So I don't know if we could make too much out of the oil market, at least at the moment. I think for the most part, um, <clears throat> It really is a dollar story. If, if the dollar is weaker today, maybe oil remains a little bit stronger. But uh, still a lot of support in here around the 33.50, 33 level on the USO for uh, light sweet crude. All right, let's take a look at GLD today, which is a good proxy for gold. And if you take a look at this, it's trading right at 117.85. I know there's a lot of chatter about gold prices, but gold for the most part today is just down a dollar. So it's right around that 12.20 1221 per ounce level. Remember, if the dollar yen goes lower, um, gold is most likely going to catch a bid. So you want to watch that dollar yen chart. And again, I'll put that up there. But if the dollar yen <clears throat> starts to trade down again, gold will, will catch some kind of a bid. If dollar yen gets a, catches a bid and goes higher, gold could suffer. So keep that on the radar today. Um, a very, very important correlation. But right now, if you take a look at the GLD, which closed yesterday at 117.58, it's trading at 117.85, so it's not really a big deal. And spot gold, like I said, is down about a dollar at the moment. Okay, so we're going to leave it here today, short and sweet. Again, we'll see what the market brings, but right now the futures are down a little bit. And I think the futures, um, for the most part, could run into some head headwinds over the next several days. So keep an eye on that as well, and we'll see how this uh, market plays out. I want to wish you all a great trading day, and we will see you all on the charts.